Good morning, everyone, and happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for being here. I've got Lara, jewelry, etc. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Lara, happy thank New you so Year. much. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for inviting me. I'm so. If anytime you want to just sit and talk about stones, I'm game. So <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> thank you. So you guys, I started watching Lara. I I can't remember through. I think it was someone's recommendation. It may have been Elizabeth. I'm not sure, but someone recommended that I go visit Lara, and I did over the holidays, and I was able to get some really beautiful, uh, semi-precious stones and geodes and things with flashing on them <laughs> from Lara, from my daughter for Christmas. And um, I just, uh, Lara, if you have your channel, please drop it because I really love this girl. She is, her lives, honestly, <laughs> just her voice is very calming. And um, she, I, I've never, I, I'm going to confess that I've never uh, been to one of your jewelry auctions, only to your stones. Yeah. It's so hard to watch, you know, with life. I don't have to tell you, you have a busy life also. Um, but so one of these days I'll catch one of her jewelry lives and I, you know, I sell jewelry, so I don't really need to go and look at jewelry because I buy jewelry by the pounds. So, right. um, you know, I don't, I don't need to be going and looking at people's jewelry, but the stones, now that's another thing, you know, it's uh, <laughs> really, really cool. So if you have not subscribed to Lara, um, please do. And I know that Kelly and Lara recently did a video Kelly. together, which I still haven't been able to watch and I'll be, and I'll do that too. They went oh, to fun. the Goodwill, you went to the Goodwill bins? We No, we went to um, a thrift store up in Northern Virginia. So my mom lives in Nova. That's what, that's what we all call it. And that's where Kelly's at. So I went to visit her um, before Christmas just to, I was hanging out. We've got, we're going through all my dad's stuff, of course. And so um, while I was up there, I figured I'd visit with Kelly. And so we met up at a thrift store and we did like a weird finds thrift off. So like what we did basically was we said, we're going to go into the shop and see like who can find the weirdest item. Cool. And then we both made our own videos for our own channels. And um, and then we had people vote in the comments what they thought was weirdest. And then whoever, um, well, no, we just did like a random drawing, right, on each of our channels. And then each of us picked what we thought was the strangest items. And then we did a drawing for who got to win them. So, <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And we are going to go to the bins. We just haven't set a date yet. Basically. That's awesome. Yeah, if you guys, if you haven't gone to see that, please do, which is great. Let's see. Let's say hello to some of our friends. Sorry to miss this. I'm seeing patients before the new year. Have a new year's. Have a happy new year's, everyone. Sabrina, thank you for checking in before you, you had to go off to you work. Too. Thank you so much. Frank, hello, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. Janine, good morning. Good morning. New profile hi, picture. And hi, Kelly. Let's see who else is here. Hey, Jenny, the book buyer. Holy cow. I got to send the, uh, I, I did a live um, auction at my storage unit yesterday right. and she bought like every single book that I sold yesterday. So I'm okay. going to be loading those up in a big box and send, sending them off to you probably in a couple of different um, boxes because there's a lot of them. So, hey, Jen Bennett, happy new year, Donna, Laura, and friends. Thanks for being here, honey. Happy new year. I got to drink my coffee. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> no, fine. Me too. Susie Q, good morning. Mm -hmm. And there is Laura's um, um, store. Not store. Do you sell on eBay? I do. I have a store. Actually, before I did this jewelry channel, I had a farming channel. And so it was like I started incorporating my reselling into that channel and it just didn't really mesh very well. So I kind of split the two apart. So my eBay store is actually called Fowl, like F O W L, Mouth Finds. And that was a play on my other channel, which is a farming channel. We have a lot of ducks. <laughs> Oh, so cool. foul mouth finds is my eBay store, but um, I don't. I, ever since like I started selling on YouTube, I've been kind of neglecting the eBay side of things. Just I still sell things here and there. It's just not as um, active, I guess. Right? Say. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit more active. As a matter of fact, Victoria 
um, Victoria's Adventures. She's doing a listing challenge where she's challenging everybody like for the month of January to list four items every day oh. on eBay. Oh, yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I almost, I almost signed up for it. And I'm like, you know what, right now for me, like I, it's just so hard. Like even just to list four items for me yeah, is, is really hard to even, I'm like, I'm not going to take a challenge that I know that I can't commit to. Yeah. I'll absolutely. fail on it. I'll fail Maybe on like it. Like one a day, four is a lot. It, it does take so much time. I think that's something that people don't really, people that don't resell don't understand that there's a lot that goes into it. It's not just, oh, I found an item here, we sell it. It's taking pictures, taking pictures at like tons of angles, finding the right lighting, and then it's putting it on there, find a description, doing yeah. price comparisons. You, yeah, I was uh, I was watching one of um, Josh's video. I think it was yesterday. It's Harry Tornado, and he um, did this video where he he committed himself um, to which I think is very important being a stay at, a stay at home worker to get up, take a shower, get dressed, have your coffee and start your day. And he's committed himself to list 10 items before he looks at his emails, before he does his shipping, before he does anything, just right out of the gate, first thing in the morning, 10 items. And I don't know if he's going to be able to do that, but I thought that that was kind of a good idea because that's what happens to me. I, I get going on my shipping or my sourcing or going to the storage unit or whatever I'm doing. And then before I know it, I'm going live and you know, there goes the day and I haven't had a chance to list everything. Yeah. So um, I don't know, you know, I think that his little method might be a good idea to do it like first thing in the morning before you even start your day. But I don't know. I mean, everybody's going to do what works for them. And um, let's see. Wanted to say hello to Patty. Hello, Patty. Pause. Thanks for coming Hi, in, sweetheart. Um, I think I owe you a package. I have not shipped in about two or three days, you guys. A couple of reasons. Um, one, I wanted to give the post office a minute to just catch up because so many packages are still amongst the missing. And uh -huh. two, um, I just been kind of busy doing other things. So, but I will get. I don't know if I'm going to ship today because. To be honest with you, I, I'm i really trying to liquidate down one of my storage units. That's my kind of goal for today is to combine everything into one unit. Um, carrying that big nut is really, really huge. So I don't know. That's my goal for today. Hopefully we'll get it done. Um, Texas Sparkle Boutique, hello. Hi, Thank Viv. you for being here. That's Val. Hi, Val. So good to see you. Viv, 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 not Val. <laughs> Close. What's that? Her name's Viv, V-I-V. -I -V. Oh, I thought that was Val. I thought that was Val. Oh, it's Viv. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it was Val. Hello, <laughs> darling. She's Larry's in the house. <laughs> you know the story behind the darling? You probably don't. It was way before you came. Mm -hmm, so no. I had all this World War II stuff that I was selling. And um, Chris the Goose was here um, from Texas. And I was mm -hmm. selling all this world war two stuff and Larry bought something and, and um, uh, goose found a notebook and was just like a random notebook and was tearing pages out of the notebook to mark the items. And I always try to include the little slip of when people buy stuff. Like now I've kind of like, it's, it's, it's so like uh, amateur, but you know, now I, I include one of these. Now, oh, nice. <laughs> in, in each lot. Uh, so it kind of gives them an idea of what they know. That's a, that's a really good idea, especially <laughs> with the date on there, because I've had people say like, basically dispute their purchase. And I'm like, here's the video. <laughs> no. And so, you know what else yeah. I do now is I, um, if it's more than one or more than three items, if it's one or two, I don't do it. But if it's more than three items, I include a packing slope with the check marks yeah, of exactly. And I list the date, the lot number, and I, and then I check off what I'm putting in the package because yes, so many times it's, I've had to go back and watch the video. Right. Be, my gosh, what did I leave out? And the customer's not sure. I think I bought this, this, and this, and then I'm stuck rewatching the video. And sometimes it can be an hour before I find if there's a discrepancy in it. So that's working right. a lot better for me. And if you want me to show you how to do that on PayPal, 
It's really easy. To, yeah. To yeah. You can invoice. do it straight from PayPal. I do it on PayPal. Yeah. It's really That's easy brilliant. to create an invoice. So anyway, so Larry, so back to Larry. So Larry got the little <laughs> ticket in his package and on the back side of it was a basically love letter that said, my darling something. And so now ever since then, he's, <laughs> He's That's uh, hilarious. darling, <laughs> which oh is, my gosh. yeah, which is really funny. And Dar, I hope you are well, my friend. Hello. Thank you for coming in. And Schreiker, Schreiker was, much, he was like actually helping me, um, being a moderator during my storage unit sale yesterday. Shreko, you did an awesome job. Thank you for doing that. I really appreciate she's it. Got a Frenchie as her picture. <laughs> That's a dog we really want to get. Sorry. Jennifer Ann has a new profile picture. Look at how cute. Um, you guys, Ginger Ann has a brand new um, eBay store. I've been kind of helping her along get it started. Really proud of her progress. It's called Ginger Ann's Finds, I think is what it is. So go over and support her because she, right out of the gate, I said to her, first thing I said to her is you're going to get a lot of people that are going to try to scam you, give you their phone numbers, want to contact you. Mm -hmm. I said, just tell them they have to do all communication through messages. Sure enough, first like two, three items that she put up, scam, scam, scam. She was like texting me saying, you're so right. Look at this. So yeah. um, that's true. She, she needs to get some positive feedback in her store. So please go over and support Ginger Ann. If you can want to buy a, a little something from her, for her, I told her to put some lower price point things in so that she can, people can buy them and, um, give her positive feedback so she can start building her store up. Yeah. Um, I watched it too, but he doesn't have kids or a life. Hi, Mary Ellen. Um, <laughs> oh, she's talking about Josh. Yeah. No kidding. Right. Mary Ellen. That is so true. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I always list, list at least some right away in the morning. Oh, that's so good. Perlini. Hi, sweetheart. You're another one. Your, your spotted leopard and your clothes and your bunny are going to be on their way. Tammy, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Hi, Woodbine girl. Thank you for coming in. Renee, flipping flamingos. Good morning. It's Joe. Oh, hi, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Joe. <laughs> Jonathan Roseberry, Happy New Year. I'm so glad to see you here in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to everyone. Christine, hello, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. Joe, what happened to the Friday auctions with Goose? Oh, so um, t she's Jenny, she's they're still doing um, auctions. I don't know if they're doing them on Fridays. I'm, I think they're doing one today, actually. Or did they do one yesterday? I don't know. I can't keep my own schedule straight. Never mind other people's <laughs> schedules. But they've started doing them. And I think that um, I think that either Chris or I don't know if it's Chris or if it's um, JJ started a channel, uh, Big Barn auctions. So I think they're going to start doing auctions on their own channel at this point together. I think I'm not sure. Mary Ellen's got question marks. Me too. I got question marks too. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Mary Ellen, you and I need to talk because I have a lot of questions too. <laughs> I definitely have a lot of questions. Unfortunately, I don't think I have, I'm going to get the answers to a lot of them, but I'm going to try real hard. <laughs> Bowman busted. Hey, Courtney. Thanks for being here. <laughs> All right. Hey, KK. Hello. This is Laura. Laura from Jewelry Etc. Kathy. <laughs> and that's Boston. Boston, my Australian shepherd. My daughter playing her loud music. Can you hear it? No. Go. All right. Good. No. Jumbug. Hello, sweetheart. Jumbug. Wonder Woman. Dun, 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 dun. Wonder Whoa. Woman, I almost, almost called you yesterday to come help me at the storage unit. Um, and then I called Ben and bless his heart. Like Ben, you know, he's like a son to me, but that kid, I'm telling you what, the minute I say Ben, I need, he's like, okay, I'll be there. I don't even have to like tell Aww. him what I need. Yeah, he's like a son to me. He's unbelievable. Massimo couldn't help because um, 
Um, he's he's got a, a little bit of a cold, so you know how boys and men are when they're a little bit sick. <laughs> I have the opposite problem. My husband, he will not chill out when he's sick. Oh, he was really? out like he had it, this was a couple of years ago, but he had the flu and a fever and was outside raking leaves. I was like, get in here, what is wrong with you? Chill. That's unusual. No offense to all the men in the chat, but usually yeah, men, that's what I've heard. That's yeah, what I've heard. men are usually I at least the men in my house, they're uh, they're a little bit of crybabies. Yeah. Um, my boy. kids definitely are. <laughs> but not not the husband. Unbelievable. All right, you guys. I'm sorry if the if the chat skipped and I missed anybody, but thank you everyone. There's 43 of you here this morning. Thank you everyone for coming in. I really appreciate it. Um <clears throat> That's awesome, Donna. Yes, I'm going to get it out for you. I'm going to definitely get it out to you. Let's see. As, as much as I would have liked to, I have a cast on my foot right now. Oh, no, honey. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. That's terrible. Oh, gosh. Men sick. Big baby. <laughs> right? Um. So yeah, you guys, I, so the, so the story, so if the, you guys watch the video about the storage unit saga, it continues. It's still going on. Like I just was on the phone. Laura heard me. I was just on the phone again with the facility and um, I don't know. I gotta, I, I think I'm going to do an updated video because it's kind of like crazy what's going on. So yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't stopped. It's still going on. Um, with that storage unit. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. Thank you for coming in. Hey, and Elizabeth. let's see who is this. Is this one of your people? Hoover's Quirks and Coins? No, but welcome in. Hello. Hi. Thank you for coming in. I don't know if they're wrenched. Do they wrench? Do they one of my regulars and maybe registered, but I never see them. But welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you very, very much. And there's Robin because she shed. Hi, Robin. <laughs> and Robin is going to be doing live tonight. Um, I don't know what time she's going on. Again, I can't keep other people's schedules straight. Um, she's going on for some sort of New Year's thing is what she said. I think like about 11 o'clock. And, um, and I'm actually going down to West Palm Beach with my husband to watch the fireworks. So I'm probably going to go live at midnight so you guys that are home can see um, Florida fireworks. So I'll be going live as well, just for a few minutes, just, you know, the time that it takes for them to do the fireworks. Um, we're going to head down there and, and do that. And hello, Lucinda. Welcome in, sweetheart. Boatman, Boatman, thanks for coming in. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for being here. Okay, so um, for those of you that have came in, that have uh, strolled in late, this is Lara from Jewelry Etc. She has a <laughs> channel, so please go and support my new friend. Let me go um, drop it again. <laughs> she, she, do you want to talk? Do you want to go ahead and um, tell the tell our friends a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure. My name is Laura. <laughs> Um, so my, basically this is my second, well, actually it's probably like my fifth or sixth channel, but in any case, as far as like a business channel, this is my second one. My first one was farming. I did farming of ducks. I was saying this earlier. Um, and that has like, I don't know, 1500 subscribers on it, give or take. But I started getting into thrifting and reselling and all that stuff. Um, originally I was selling my own jewelry to make money. Um, and it was to buy more jewelry because <laughs> I have a ton of jewelry. I like fancier things, I don't know. So I was starting to resell jewelry initially and then I got into the hard goods and I was trying to incorporate it into my farming channel. Um, and it kind of, my audience did not, uh, were not receiving it very well. They kind of wanted me to stick with the duck stuff. So I split off, made this new channel, which is jewelry, et cetera. And it was a supplement to my eBay store. Um, my original plan was to do like, videos about what I was selling. And then if people found me on YouTube, they'd be referred back to eBay. If they found the listing on eBay, they would come see like an actual live video of the item. So that was my original plan until I discovered that people were selling things live on YouTube. And it looked like a lot of fun. Actually, Texas Sparkle Boutique Vivian, that was like the very first live auction I ever stumbled upon. 
and I was like, this looks awesome. <laughs> so I, I don't know, it just looked like a lot of fun to me. So I started kind of gearing my channel in that direction. Um, it was primarily jewelry sales. And then I started doing crystals as well, just because I had some items and my customers were really into it. And I love crystals. I'm not like formally uh, educated, I guess. I haven't taken classes. Gemologist? Is it a, is it gemologist? Is that what you call it? Well, there's, there's uh, mineralogy and then there's gemology. So they're kind of two different things. Gems goes more into like gemstone, which are basically cut things that are cut not necessarily it's too set into jewelry, but anything that's been cut and set is a gemstone. And then crystals and minerals and things can just be like raw specimens, stuff like that. So um, I'm learning about it now. I do love, 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 love crystals. I have an entire display case in my bedroom of crystals. I have <laughs> a whole china cabinet down here that was hard goods. And now it's slowly getting replaced with more more crystals and mineral specimens because i just think it's so freaking fascinating i don't know yeah. i'm really into I, it so i started I love selling them. i love i love them too i think that my um little bit of an obstacle with it is i have a hard time pronouncing the words oh <laughs> it's it true correct. i can speak two languages fluently but there's yeah. certain words that i have a really really hard time pronouncing and i find that a lot of the um minerals is that what you call them crystals and minerals mm -hmm. um precious and semi-precious stones they're really hard to pronounce yeah <laughs> for, me, for me they're really hard to pronounce they, i mean i agree and it's not even just necessarily stone names it's also characteristics of the stones that you use to describe them for example I don't have any on, but like um, moonstone, the play of light that's inside a moonstone is called ad adulorescence. <laughs> so I can't even say it myself. There's that. It just like I don't know. It gets it gets a little ridiculous. There's a lot of a lot of weird words in general. Yeah, no, <laughs> forget it. Forget it. Like I yeah, I can't. That's why when I, I tune into your channel and I listen to you pronounce the words, I'm like. I could never, I can't even, and Robin's going to laugh because this is one of my words. And a lot of you know this, like, I can't even say fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the words I can't pronounce. I just can't do it. Fragrance. You know, it's <laughs> one of those words. I just can't get it pronounced right. It doesn't work out of my mouth. Fragrance. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. So and it doesn't help that people pronounce it differently either. I mean, not fragrance per se, but <laughs> yeah. some of those doubts I've heard pronounced different ways. Frank, so. Frank says ducks and diamonds. Hmm. Hard choice. Right. Mm. And there you I go. Put diamonds on ducks. Fragrance. She even knows how to spell it. Cause I've tried saying it <laughs> so many times. Does all I can hear is like the, the priest in the, uh, What's that movie? Oh my gosh, The Princess Bride. Marriage, like that. Have you seen that movie, Princess no, Bride? No, I've never seen it. I'm not. I'm not a movie person. I've, I've seen hardly any movies. I I'm really bad with artists, like singing people. Like when, no, I am too. <laughs> when, I, when I show records, I'm like, who's this? And people are like Donna. That's like Kiss, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> like I don't know. I, I really, yeah. I don't know bands. I don't know movies. I, I can cook. I can cook. You know. I mean, some people are strong in some points, and some people are just, you know, not in other in other points. But yeah. Anyway, so, so one of the last huge bundles of um of jewelry that I bought, you guys, I ended up with a whole bunch of like jewelry making beads, and they're all like, do you call them? semi-precious stones did i write that right in the title or? yeah yeah they're semi-precious so technically speaking there are only four precious stones in the world there's diamond sapphire ruby and emerald everything else is semi-precious okay so um so yeah so i looked at these and i was like spinning them around a little bit and then all of a sudden i was like oh my gosh i see flashing <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and that's a word that um, Laura uses a lot on her channel. She uses the word flashing a lot. So um, I'm like, what do I have here? You know, and they're they're just on, just so that you know, they're just on, see, just nylon. They're just on nylon cords. Can you see the mm -hmm. nylon? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're just on nylon cord. So they're not, I think there might be one in here that's on um, a necklace. So so this is really stuff. So I thought I would invite Laura on and she's gonna bring some of her beautiful things that she has. Um, I thought I'd invite Laura on to help kind of identify some of them and see what we've got. Cause I can't tell the difference between Jade and Labertite or whatever that word is, Labertite. <laughs> I've learned a lot from the chat. A lot of people have, hello, Kimberly. Yes, over here. Yeah, customers are so knowledgeable. That's why I, I really, I've seen other people try to sell stones and they don't know what it is. And the people in the chat know when you don't know. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's no. pretty great. It's, um, you it know, I've said so that helpful. before. I've said it before where having selling events on my channel or watching other people's channels, man, I'll tell you what, it's like watching the Antique Road Show. You learn so much. Like people have such a unique array of merchandise from all over the country. There's resellers that have YouTube channels that do reselling from California to Boston and the different merchandise that people bring to these selling events. I watch them just because I find it so interesting to see the, 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 the variety of stuff that, that people yeah. bring, um, yeah. you know, how unusual everything is and, you know, and, and what they find it's, it's really, really cool. So, um, yeah. so this is, so this is what we're going to do. You guys, I'm going to lot these up. I have a big bag of them. And um, I'm going to take advantage of, of Laura being here and you guys being here too. And I'm going to lot them up. And this is this is what I'm going to sell today. I'm going to sell these. I'm going to sell them in, in lots of maybe six strands per. And Laura can help me um, help us identify what they are. And I'll do my best. <laughs> Beth. And um, Laura also brought a couple of really cool things that she wants to show also and um, and sell herself. Hi, Jill. Good morning. It's so good to see you. Hello. Hello. And a couple of people came in. Um, Donna. Oh, M G having the best day ever. I'm sure you are, sweetheart. I'm sure you are. I'm so glad. I have so many questions. <laughs> Uh, was there a question on there? No. I just wanted, my question is why is, why is this the best day ever? Oh, uh, well, she'll share that when she wants to share it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my story to tell. <laughs> it's her story to tell. So um, I think what I'll do is I will, um, I think I'll put you in the corner. Okay. Bad girl. <laughs> I'll put you in the corner and I'm going to, and then when you show some stuff, I'll put you up on the screen, but I think that you can still see me really, really well. And I don't have my ring light here, which I probably should go get because it'll probably make all the difference with showing this. My ring light is out by my Christmas tree from when I was, um, so you know what, you know what I'm going to do? Why don't, why don't we reverse this? Why don't I put you on? Hello. <laughs> And it'll take me just a minute to go get my ring light. And why don't you show everybody something really awesome that you brought to show, maybe talk about it a little bit. Are you going to switch your cameras and do the whole camera thing? Uh, I don't because this is the only one camera I have. It's already like set up on my computer, but it, this I have my my nicer camera active. So okay. I'll be able to All show right. Things. Yeah. No, your picture's nice and clear. It's just going to okay. take me a minute to go get my ring light because I think that they'll be able to see the the flashing a lot better with the ring light. So yeah, I might turn up when you're back on the screen, I might turn up my little light screen too, to see if that'll help. <laughs> okay. Well, just, just talk amongst each other for one minute. Laura, you entertain them for one second. Oh my goodness. See, if it was my channel, I'd probably start singing to you guys, but since it's not, <laughs> um, so we were talking a lot about Labradorite. I have like a whole slew of Labradorite sitting next to me. So if that's, um, Hopefully it's something you guys are into. Um, I'll just pick up one of these stones and start showing it to you because I think Labradorite is like one of my favorites ever. And I've always liked it, but for whatever reason, if you guys are like into metaphysical stuff, I will not sing Frank. <laughs> not yet. You'll have to come on my channel during live if you want to hear some singing. Um, they say, as I was saying, if you're into metaphysical stuff that you start becoming more attracted to the stones that you need in your life, they say. 
Um, and Labradorite, like, I don't know, for whatever reason, I really started, once I started changing the, the gear of my channel, this stone started to appeal to me a lot. I don't know why, but uh, in any case, this is a little piece of it. And there's a lot of fun uh, little stories with Labradorite. And my favorite one that I know about is they say that Labradorite was uh, found, actually, I think it's an Inuit tribe mm -hmm. story. And they say that when the stone was found first and cracked open, it released the Aurora Borealis into the sky. And that's where the Aurora Borealis comes Let from. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, this is, I have a couple of these palm stones. And, and the thing about it too, is sometimes it's hard to get the flashing. Oh, I see it. See the flashing, you guys? So that is lab. Labradorite. Labradorite. So the easiest way to remember that is like a Labrador retriever, like the dog. Labradorite. <laughs> Labradorite. Yeah. And so now is this stone, is this the stone that people are talking about? I, I missed it because I, I ran through the house to get my light. Um, is this the stone that they're saying that is um, not being harvested anymore? Is that true? I don't know anything about that. Um, wow. I have not read anything about that. This is a big old chunk. Of, and if you guys are interested in buying any of these, the palm stones kind of vary by price, but are in the like eight to $10 range. This guy, this one is for sale for 65 if anybody's interested in him. Wow, you guys, that's beautiful. Look at that, $65. That's amazing. Let's see, I'm trying to, it's so hard to get the flash on camera though, but there's a big old flash up in the corner here. If I can get it to go the right way. So there's little flashes of it all over. Oh, oh ah, there it is. <laughs> See that big flash in the corner up there? Um, um, tanzanite, I think it's still being harvested, but it's like extremely uh, regulated by the government there. What is? Tanzanite. Oh, I think that's I think that's what people are collecting, right? Tanzanite. Yeah, uh, tanzanite is um, it's an interesting one because it's kind of the value of it is the older stuff is a lot more expensive, and then because the quality is like really good in the night, it's nice and saturated, and then it gets less expensive the less saturated the color is. So now they're heat treating it and trying to sell it that way. Um, but it's like really, I think they have like a wall built around the mind. It's in Tanzania. It's a single source gemstone. That just means that's the only place you can get it. So, um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Show that one more time. Cause that piece is amazing. Oh my God. I have God. a smaller so one. Too. Beautiful. This one's 65. I have one that's a little smaller. If y'all see that, that one's, um, I'll do 50 on the other one. This is, the bigger one and then the smaller one is down here it's so beautiful holy cow wow you guys look at that how much Isn't is that, that one? what's that how much is that one this one uh 45 on this one wow i think i said 50 Isn't it beautiful I christine they are yeah. they're amazing there's These are big old chunks. I don't know if there's any flash on the back. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big time flash. So these are the big ones. And then if you guys just want a, a baby piece, I have these guys down here. These are little palm stones. Oh, my gosh. How pretty. How much are those? This one, I would do 10 on this. But there is like a, a little chunk taken out of the side there, but the flash on it is still really, really nice. Okay, I'll take that one. You want this one for 10? Yeah, I want that one for sure. I have others. Here's another one. I'll do 10 on this too. I'll take that one too. Do you want to see it first? <laughs> no. I'll just take it. All right. And then the last one I have for 10 is this one. You know why, Angelina? Um, you, can I have the two without the chip? Let me see. Yeah, this one does not have one. That yeah, one doesn't. the two without the chip because you know I bought all that stuff for Chesy for um, Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Jill, Jill is like, stop, Donna. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> oh, someone's in the. And did you want this one? This one has the chip in it, but it's it's flashy. <clears throat> My Angelina said to me after Chesy opened up. Um, all of her stones she and my angelina said to me you know mama i really like stones also and i was Aww. 
crushed. I was like, I didn't even know I would have got you some too because Chesie was just like in awe over all her beautiful stones that she got. Oh, that's so awesome, man, though, that they like, you know. They love them. They love them. I'm going to have, okay, so those two. And then I have these ones. This one I do for, I'll say this one is nine. This one. Okay. Ian Dar wants one. I I have her for the, the bigger one with the chip out of it. Okay. This is the smallest one. This guy's a little more shy on his flash. This one's nine, though. This guy's good to get. I don't know why these things got chipped. I, the guy sent it to me, sent them all together in a bag, and sometimes they bang against each other um, when they're not wrapped wrapped properly. That one's nine. And then this one's also nine. It does have a chip, but it's super duper. Look at the flash on this guy. Hi, Sandy. Hi, honey. Hi, Sandy. Thanks for coming in. And did you want another one, sweetheart? Or do you just want the one, the one that you, um, that you wanted? So this, this is the one that Ann snagged. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Know, that was really that. beautiful, right? It's, it's so much pretty in person. Like the camera cannot. Do oh it my gosh. It's beautiful. Now that's the one with the chip. Yeah. This one has a little, a little chip. on. Yeah. The but it's really beautiful. But then the cool thing though, about the chips is when you have like the rough spot, it still reflects light. And sometimes the, even on the chip part, it could be really pretty. Yeah. So pretty. Um, she wants, and wants the small ones too. Small one too. Okay. The small, the super flashy guy with the little ding or the, uh, less flashy guy who does not have any dings. Okay. So do a, do a or B so she can write it in the chat. We'll say a and B. Which this one guy, do you mean, sweetheart? They're both. I think I said they're both nine. Gosh, I can't even remember two seconds ago what I said. But he does have flash. He's just a little more subtle. This guy is not shy at all. <laughs> B, 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 she wants. B, 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 B. B. You got it, Anne. Awesome, right, Anne. I also have that guy out to the side. And then I have the, the bigger free forms are sitting over here. So that's those. That's all the Labradorite I have. But I that's do have awesome. these two guys are still available if anybody wants the big old chunkers. We'll show them. We'll show them in. Um, we'll show them in a little while. We'll see if some more people come in um, oh, that good. later on. We can show them. Okay, so I'm gonna put myself on the screen. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Okay, Sorry. so <laughs> let's go through some now. This is the only piece that actually has a um what's a barrel clasp that's called. Mm -hmm. clasp. Yeah. So let's see. It I, looks like lapis. It looks it like, looks like lapis. lapis. Um to me. I cleaned off my desk. Where's my oh, loops? Those loops are sneaky too. They hide oh everything. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. Let's see. I because I moved everything because I had everything out in the living room. Yeah. And then I cleaned off my desk and I don't see my Donna loop. Hold on a second. Let me see if I put it here. Okay. And do you do you have my um have you sent me your information before? I feel like I've sold to you, but maybe not. I have it if you um if you don't okay. have it, I have it. Okay. Okay. Let's make notes to myself so I don't forget. Well, I'll go ahead. And if you guys, um, while she's looking for it, I'm going to uh, shamelessly self-promote. <laughs> but here's the, the link to my channel is getting dropped again. And then my email, just if you buy anything and... and um, yeah, put it in the chat. Gotta tell some time. <laughs> yeah, put it in the chat for sure. All right, I don't know where my big Donna loop is. Let's see if we can do it with this one. And I've got storage unit hands big time from yesterday. <laughs> I get really dirty hands when I play with the uh, play with jewelry. So there it is. It looks like lapis. Are those little like gold flecks in there? Yes. Okay, so that that's pyrite, which is like fool's gold. A lot of people have heard fool's gold, maybe not necessarily pyrite, but those little inclusions are in lapis. So I would say pretty confidently that's a strand of lapis beads. And it's a okay. long one too. How long is that thing? Um, it's about that long. 
Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna lot them up. I'm gonna, she's gonna tell you, Laura's gonna tell you what they are and I'm gonna lot them up. This one's not a necklace. This is for jewelry making. So what do you think about this one? Uh, probably adventuring, probably adventuring. Adventuring is a, a green quartz basically. Um, it has, there's a term in uh, gemology called, um, or mineralogy, I guess, uh, aventurescence. That's like when there's teeny tiny little specks that flash like little sparkles inside of stones. And that's where that term comes from is aventuring. Cool. So that's, I would, I would wager a guess that that's aventuring. Okay. So there's that one. And then there's this great big one. And look at the way it's, it's tied. It's so primitive the way it's strung and tied, you know, like from whatever country maybe it came from. I don't think something like that would come from the United States, right? I don't know. But here, this is what it is. That, honestly, to me, that looks like it could be a glass bead. Glass? And a, a, that would would maybe come from another country, too. Glass beads are... Uh, our thing <laughs> but it just the shape of them too um I'll, it's i don't know i haven't seen a whole lot of natural stones in that shape that would be my guess uh, okay. i welcome other opinions in the chat but to me that i would guess that that's probably a glass bead okay and how about this one hold on hematite for sure it didn't look like it to me does it fit does it have some weight to it is it heavy for its size? Oh, maybe it is, but maybe it is because there's this cute little bracelet. Yeah, that looks like hematite to me. Okay, sometimes but, it can be a little darker. Sometimes it can be a little lighter. But no clasp. See, it's made. They're made for, for jewelry making. But the yeah. bracelet, the bla the bracelet has a clasp. So there's that, and then let's see this here. This one again is tied in a cord. And let's see if you think if this is glass. Yeah, that looks like glass to me. That's kind of a little hard to tell. Or maybe even a painted ceramic. Well, is it opaque at, or like translucent at all? Or is it totally opaque? Totally opaque. Does it look like it could be a painted ceramic? Like, is it glazed Each on the inside? stone has like a little tiny sparkle in it. Okay, it could be adventuring then. It could be it another adventuring. Little tiny like silver sparkles in it. Okay, so that may be another adventuring. Adventuring comes in different shades of green, so um, could be. It just looks like a teal blue on my screen. What does it look like to you in, in person? Teal? It's, it's a teal for sure. A sparkly teal stone. A sparkly teal stone. You guys help out in the chat. It yeah, you know. Out. But yeah, so it has a little huh. tiny like silver dot in it. Um, okay, so here's another one tied with a cord. And this one I think is definitely a um, like some sort of ceramic stone. Yeah, that looks like a painted a painted glazed ceramic, probably. Like a handmade, probably made somewhere. Yeah, they definitely look, I would guess those are handmade beads just on the irregularities of the sizes of them. And here's another, looks like handmade beads. Mm, lamp work. That's uh, that's glass. That's those are glass beads. Who, lamp working is fun. That's something I was learning how to do before I got pregnant with the last one. Um, it's called lamp work. Yeah. So there's like you've heard of glass blowing. Most people have. That's like when you physically glow blow into the tube that holds the glob of glass. I'm doing my layman's terms here, <laughs> but lamp work is basically with rods of. Um, of glass and you hold them in a flame to form the shapes and everything. And when they do the little designs on that, that's called, uh, I think they call them stringers. Streamers or stringers that very slowly you have to 
hold the bead in one hand and melt the design onto it. It's just like a big, like a very skinny, long tube of glass. It is, it's tough. It's tough, but that's what they call it when you make, build it in a flame that's lamp working. So those are glass lamp work beads, definitely yeah. handmade. Very really pretty. cool. I mean, imagine the work that goes into just making one of these. I tried. It's not easy. Wow. <laughs> the guy okay. who's teaching me, he can just like whip stuff out. But Isn't this awesome, you guys, learning all this stuff? Okay. And what about, I wish I had my other lens. I'm going to go try to find it. What do you think of this? This is one of the ones that has like flashing in it. It. I would guess that's a quartz of some sort, maybe um, like a hematoid quartz. So basically what that means is there's hematite in there. Hematite is uh, iron oxide and it's a red. So, so hematite looks silver. A lot of people don't realize that it's actually like a red stone. When you streak it on a plate, it's red. When you crush it, it's red. And a lot of times it will stain stones or like have growths on top of stones. So to me, that looks like it's probably a quartz that has some hematite in it to, to make it. And some of it is a little seeing. translucent. Can you see like that one? You can almost yeah, see through it. definitely it. looks quartz family to me, for sure. Like a hematoid quartz. When you get bigger pieces of it, when they have more of an orange look, they call it golden healer. Um, and then there's like uh, rose quartz. When that has hematite in it, it they call it fire quartz, I think. Fire quartz. Um, yeah. Okay, now this one has a barrel screw, and I don't know. It's stuff. It's you know, it's not plastic. It's either some sort of stone or bone, or I don't know if you can tell. That looks like bone. It looks like it's got like the lines in it, maybe like a bone. Although they look very uniform. What is it? It feels like a stone. I guess the, I would guess that's bone, just based on the lines that I'm seeing in it. Yeah, it feels like a stone. That's probably bone. All right. And then there's this one. Jennifer thinks bone too. That looks like maybe moss. Wait, is it flashing? Is that the lavender? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. this, one, this one has a lot of flash in it. Let's see if I can get it to sit. It almost, at, just like when it's not flashing, it almost looks green on my screen like a moss agate, but that's definitely labradorite. Oh, I saw a little bit of it. I'm sorry to be like all up in everybody's face, but oh, I see. I see a little bit. I'm pointing and no there one's even doing flash? it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is, y'all. And here, just so you know, <laughs> the type of flashing that you see from labradorite is called officially labradorescence. So there's a fun one for you to, to try to say. <laughs> okay, am I acting like Lara? There you go. See it? Yeah, so all the beads, it's really hard to see, but this is beautiful. Like they all have that amazing flashing on them. Yeah, they're really, really pretty. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to put one more in this stack and then I'm going to go ahead and let you guys bid on it if you want it. Um, This one... I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Glass or stone? That's the question. <laughs> right? Let's look at it close. Ooh, that's a tough one. It almost looks like maybe a like a jade of some sort, but it could also be glass. That's a tough one. I mean, I... I think I can kind of tell something like between glass and stone. Like to me, this feels like stone. Now is glass cold? They feel really similar. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Cause this one is, um, is definitely, now let's look at this and see if this helps identify it. It's got. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's like an inclusion in there of some sort. There may be another adventuring bead too. Do you see any of the like light play, like little sparkles inside the stone? It's just really glossy. <laughs> it may be another adventuring. It may be. Now you have like a whole series of these now that's on that same string, don't you? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Like that you have a, a few strands that have that same stringing. 
right? Oh, um, like they came from. Yeah, similar. Yeah, similar string. Sing sing like straw. It's like straw. Yeah, yeah. What were the other ones? Did we figure the other ones out? Because that might be a clue as to what that one is, if it's glass or a stone. Um. Oh, okay. So, oh no, that bone one wasn't it. So this one, so glass. Yeah, that's a good idea. So this one has, but it's a little bit different. See, the color of the string is a little bit different. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So that yeah. one, that one, that one, this one. Okay, so maybe not necessarily from the same place. I was just thinking if they had, if they're strung up the same way with that really unique string, then they might be, you know, but they're definitely not the same. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna pile these all up in my hand, you guys, and I'm gonna start this at 20. That is a really, really good deal for all those beads. 20. Oh my gosh. That lab strand alone is probably worth that much. Never mind those lamp work beads. Some yeah. of them have some of them actually have price tags on them. I can show you. I mean, not that it matters. It's probably their retail prices, but some of them have price tags of like $25 and $30 for one strand that's in this yeah, bag. I believe it. I believe it. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Hi, so doesn't yeah. glass warm up when holding it, but stone will stay cold. No, that's not true. Anything that conducts any heat will will get, you know, will warm up, which is really annoying because sometimes I'm like trying to feel a stone and it'll start warming up and I can't tell anymore like what the temperature of it is. But I would say like the larger a stone is, the harder it is to warm up with your hands. But when it comes to beads, they'll they'll warm up. So this is, yeah, so this is all, you know, basically except for one bracelet and one necklace, it's all jewelry making stuff, all just beads. That's awesome. Anne's in for 20. All right, Anne. Is there any other interest? Should That's we get a really, it really Anne? good deal. Now, Anne, do you make things? Or are you, is yep. she a reseller? Um, are you a reseller or are you a maker? Yep, she does. She's been making things for years. I, I'm, I swear I know you. <laughs> she used to live in. Hi, Christopher. She used to live in the, um, in the Florida Keys, and she was a crafter out in 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 the Florida Keys for years and years. She raised oh, wow. her family there. Um, there's a lot of you guys in Florida, huh? Yep. Yeah, and what part of the keys was it? I know you've told me before. I was just down there with my daughters. Okay, should we sell this to Anne? No, well, Tamara's in for 22. Oh, Tammy's in for 22? Okay. Um, if you're a reseller, this should be an easy post to put on eBay. As a matter of fact, that's what my daughter said. She's like, let's just throw them on eBay. She was loving yeah. these. I'm like, nope, I want to bring it to my people. That's I mean, what I call you guys. I call you guys my people. <laughs> I do. I love my people. I love you guys. I mean, eight, yeah. gosh, that's how many strands are there total? This one is this one here that you told the story about is really amazing. I wouldn't even want to attempt to make those beads. <laughs> R1J1 in a 25. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So look at—I didn't even like plan on doing a dozen. I just randomly was picking. Yeah, um, that's amazing. So there's twelve and um, jewels. I have, I know you want, I think, two makeup lots and two jewelry lots, I think it is. I have it written down, honey. I haven't forgotten about you. Um, I will, I will be sending those out to you. Um, just let me know. Send me another email. Let me know if there's an address change or if you're still in the same spot that you registered. Oh, Tamara's got high bid at 27. This is less than $3 a strand of beads. That's crazy. That's an extremely good deal, you guys. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. I'm tempted. All right. R1J1 in at 30. Oh, thank you, Jenny. All right. That's 
That's impressive. As a reseller, I mean, I would probably sell those at least at a minimum for the cheapest one, five dollars a strand. That's for the cheapest one. Well, you know, I, you know, I, I, I sell, I sell in lots. You know, I sell a lot in lots because I yeah. buy huge quantities. So. Um, so it gives people an opportunity. I think that your clientele mostly buys for, hey, Gary, welcome in, honey. Hi, Gary. Um, hi, Laurie. Thank you so much for being here. I think that um, some of your people buy for personal use more so to keep where mm -hmm. my clientele, um, I, I think, find. Hi, Sylvia. Thanks for coming in. Um, a reseller's. So. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is a great lot to resell. Just pick those apart. I mean, that Labradorite strand alone, 10, 15 bucks or more. Tammy, why are you leaving, honey? Why, why is Tammy saying later people? Tammy, please don't leave. I don't know what happened. I just see, I just see later people. I hope, did I, did my um, comment when I said you're my people, hurt your feelings. Was that something bad to say? You're my people. I found no offense in that, but I mean, I, I said it with affection. <laughs> if I, hurt I she may have just had to go. If I hurt someone's feelings, I apologize. Okay. Let's close it. I don't know. Um, All right, high bid is R one J one at thirty. R one J one. Okay, so um, sold. Thank you, Shriker. <laughs> Shriker's like, come on, Donna, let's get on with business. Thank you, Tammy. All right, thank you, Tammy. R1J1 is Jules, and she bought it for 30 That's what I saw was the last bid. Yep. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, sweetheart. She's got things to do. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming in, Tammy. Oh, sorry, Mama G. I'm breaking your rules. Maybe I offended somebody. Oh, thank you, Courtney. Thank you, thank you. She's dropping the link. Okay, so Jules oh. gets it for 30. Thank you, Jules. All right, let's go through another bundle of them and see if there's any interest here in this next bundle. Lori, I don't know if I said hi, but hi. <laughs> yes, Bolo Buddies, it's showing up, honey. Thank you for dropping it. Okay. So here's the first one. And I wish I had my other lens, darn it. Because it's so much easier. I just don't know where it is. Okay. Probably Red Jasper. Probably Red Jasper, I would guess. Red Jasper? On that one, yeah. I mean, the color is okay. spot on for that. So that's what I, that's what I would go with. Just All a little right. hard to tell through the screen, but I'll do my best. <laughs> that one's red Jasper. And what about this one? That or? I would say it's another something else in the quartz family. Or of the line, family. Right, Laura, is that how you determine it when you see those lines in it? Or, sorry, say that again. It, it is the way you determine that it's quartz is by seeing those lines in it. It's, it's not necessarily the lines. I mean, that does help though, <laughs> but also the translucency of it. Um, and quartz is just a very popular stone to make jewelry out of um, because it's an extremely abundant mineral, actually the most abundant mineral. So um, you see it a lot or in, or it's other forms. There's quartz and then the subcategory of quartz is chalcedony. Um, and then that could be split off further into your jaspers or agates. Okay, now here's another one with one of those uh, hay cords. It, it's it's surprised. Like I wonder how they string these tiny little beads with all that. Like, I yeah. Hay. That's it's a good gonna, question. It's got to be from another country. I mean, you know, they wouldn't do something like that in the United States. I don't think, right? Mm, probably not. That looks like that also looks like red jasper. 
I'm wondering, maybe it was like bound up really tight and then it's just kind of frayed over the years or whatever. Mm. But yeah, that, that looks that looks like another red jasper bead to me. Okay. Now this one mm -hmm. is a white cord and I'm going to guess that this one's probably glass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that definitely looks like glass. All right, that's glass. And this one is... I can tell is some sort of shell. It looks like shell. Yeah. That's something I, I'm, my knowledge is extremely limited on shells. So <laughs> like anybody the, knows what kind of shell this is, let, let us know. It's, it's really small. Do you, and I don't know if this has been like, if this is what the shell looks like or, and this is not a necklace. This is again on cord or if yeah. that, polished to make that way like which is crazy like i can't imagine that um, i think like if you can imagine like a flat like an oyster shell or something or a, maybe a clam shell i think what they do is like just hole punch he you know shell? yeah see how i don't know my shell names but yeah they just like basically take little hole punches out of the shell and then polish the edges i think is how they they do those beads Hi, Blandine. Thanks for coming in, honey. Thank you for being here. So, yeah, um, it looks like it is uh, called a he-she, he-she, he-she one. Okay, this is probably jet, obsidian. Jet black. Yeah, it, it's probably, an, it would probably be obsidian, I would guess. Okay, so that one's jet black. And let's see, this one is really beautiful. And I know this is a, some sort of ceramic painted. Yeah, definitely. But pretty. Yeah. But Again, when you look at that stuff and just think of like hand applying all those flowers, you know. You push the work, right? Yeah, so time consuming to do that stuff. So now this yeah. one's really pretty. Let's see if... Is it, t oh, it looks like red tiger's eye, maybe. Is it, it um, like, the? Is does that have some flashing to it too when you turn it? Does. It does. Okay, it looks like it's probably red tiger's eye. It doesn't look brown, it looks red to me. So, red tiger's eye. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really deep in color. Yeah. All right. Really dark, nice. And let's see what this one is. This is another one tied in that cord, so it's got to be coming from some country, but it has some beads in it. Those colored ones are definitely glass. I can't. Are the, those are those also glass? They might all be glass. They look like they're glass and maybe metal or at least maybe a metallic finish on them or something like that. No idea. Okay. Here's another one. All right. If you're doing this lot at 20 also, Anne is in for 20. Okay. Yep. I'm going to do this for 20 also. Hmm. That one might be, might be a red adventuring. It's something in the quartz family again. Although it might be a Jasper too. They're all kind of in the same family, but I don't know. And the color is changing on me too while I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah, it's got all kinds of like speckles and they're like deep inside too. It might be a red, like a red adventuring. Look at this one. Oh man, is that saran? Dang, look at the painting on that. Wow. Again, ceramic beads, but and it's very not, pretty. Yeah, it's oh my not, gosh, I I can't imagine trying to outline all those flowers with like such a tiny brush. And it's you know they took care to uh, not in between each one. Oh, so, that's nice. You know maybe just to keep it safe. Yeah, absolutely. Because those ceramics then, and that's like a a sign of probably a higher value piece because they're trying to preserve it 
when they ceramics bump on the edge, they can get little flea bites and chips in the edge of the beads. So they knot them to give them a cushion between beads. Those are really pretty. <laughs> and here is another one. Oh, this one's a necklace. This one feels like it's glass, but this is going to go in the bundle. It was in the bag. Um, they do look glass. They also, the bigger ones look like, uh, rhodo or, um, not rhodochrosite, uh, rhodonite, ro oh my gosh, rhodolite, good grief, too many rhodos. Rhodolite garnet is a gemstone that kind of resembles, it might be glass, but are you seeing any bubbles in there or anything? Well, I'm looking to see if it says anything on the clasp, like gold or 14 carat or anything. Oh, Yeah. Because this lot was really expensive. There's um there's a gemstone called it's in the garnet family. They just call it rhodolite because rhodo is the Greek word for rose. So they use that as like a starter word for a lot of pink colored stones. Like mm -hmm. rhodolite garnet is one, rhodochrosite and rhodonite are the three that I can think of. Um it could and it's be garnet. It, What's it, that? It could be garnet. Is the other one red? Maybe it's rhodolite garnet and just red garnet together. That that color on those big beads, that is the exact color of a rhodolite garnet. So it could they could be rhodolite garnet beads. The smaller ones look a little more purple, like maybe an amethyst or something. No, maybe because the white thread going through it is lightening them up a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, so that's going in the lot, whatever it is. We did our best to identify it. You guys take it from there. <laughs> and then this one, I don't know if this is Jade or not. Can you tell Jade? I can try. Again, it's hard to do things through a screen, but. Uh, honestly, well, it's hard to tell. Does it have specks inside of it or is it more like a like a jelly kind of finish. It may be another adventuring. Adventuring comes in all shades of green. It has silver little specks in it. I would guess that's another adventuring bead. Kind of. Kind of little. It's like some do and some don't. I don't know. I, I, yeah, well. Variations in gemstones, it's, you know, not unheard of. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't, I, I honestly, like, I I have no idea. But that's, uh, that's the best picture I can give you guys. Yeah, it looks like a, a lighter green adventuring, I would guess. That's, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's going in it. And let me pick one more, this one. Let's see what you think of this. This is all green. Uh, probably serpentine. I would say if it's green, serpentine. It's got the black flex in there. That looks like serpentine to me. That's a really cool stone. And it's just very, uh, it's like green. You know what I mean? <laughs> it has a very like kind of like a limey green color to it. Yeah, with little it, specks of black, it can. Yeah, it's got all variations to it. It complements a lot of stones. You know, they say green is a neutral color. I don't know if I buy it or not, but that one does complement a lot of stones. So you get one, two, three, and four, and five, six. And seven. All right, Jill's got Hybrid at 26. Nine. 10. 11. 12. This one's really long. We'll double it up. 12. This one's beautiful. 12. 13. And 14. 14 pieces in this lot. Ooh, even more than last time. All right, Jill's got high bit at 30. Hi, Andrea. Hello, hello. Hi, Andrea. Lori says, great lot. I tend to agree. 
even like some of these pieces you have together would make beautiful. If you're making jewelry, they would go really well together. Hey, Moonstone yeah. Mama, welcome in. MB, welcome in. That that ceramic one is gorgeous. The I mean, that, that will go with any other beads. You could make earrings out of those. You could make a whole matching set of jewelry with that thing. That would be gorgeous. This one's but really I, beautiful. I, the serpentine one, yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, even like, well, no, it doesn't really match that one. I thought it did, but yeah, this one's really, really pretty for sure. Okay. Nora is out. Nora, thank you for bidding. I didn't know you were bidding. Jill's at 30. Should we close it to Jill? Uh, Shriker is counting it down, so I'm going to go with He's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Oh, Devin's here. She's She'll help for, for sure to verify some of these things. Oh, thanks, do. Devin. We're trying to figure out what I have here. I've got all of these <laughs> awesome stones. Ann Dar is at 31. Thank you, Ann. Ann knows her stones, too. Yeah. Do you she do, um, what, are, what is your bid increments? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Striker, you said we need 32. Okay. Yeah, $2. Look at those. That would be fun to, like, just make a whole, like, necklace just mixing the beads up randomly. <laughs> I feel like it would be a lot of fun to do. Right. But those... Mm, those flowers. Lots of pretty stuff. 32 to Andar. Who else was bidding? Jill, are you still in or out, honey? Let us know if you're out. They are amazing with knowledge, aren't they, Perlini? <laughs> oh, They're thanks, Kat. Thank I you, try. Jill. I just... I just nerd out on stones. And the other thing is I do a lot of research when I'm like wondering about things like, I don't know. And it just sends me off onto a whole branch about learning about different aspects of things. So I'm trying to learn. It's a little hard at my age to retain new information, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm really trying to like learn about the metaphysical properties of things. That's, that's been a challenge. Just because everything, I mean, you look at two different websites or two different books and they have different information about the same stone. So there was, um, I, I had done a video where I stopped into a um, shop. Um, yeah. The, a, a, a stone shop. And I was going to go there and go live and maybe help her sell some of her. She was really sweet, you know, maybe help her sell some of her inventory. Um, but honestly, like, it's an hour away. So it's an hour there. And then you figure a couple yeah. of hours there and then an hour back. And I wouldn't ask her for any money or anything to do it. I just would do it just to bring you just the audience, a, a new variety or just a new content or something new to look at and buy. And then I was like, you know what? I, I, I'm so busy. Like I don't have time. Like if it was just like 15 minutes down the road, yeah. um, I would do it. But I, I just don't have the time to be driving an hour to yeah. sell other that's people. A, that's stuff. a commitment. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a long drive. <laughs> and that's two hours out of your life just driving. And I, I don't mind driving. I, I love driving. I'll usually call one of my friends and stay on the phone, you know, with a friend of mine to keep me company. It kind of gives me like quiet time where I can just drive and just chit chat because I never really get a chance to do that. Um, yeah. So Jill bought it for 34. Thank you, Jill. Um, so I decided against it. Um, there's another shop that's here closer. Um maybe after the holidays and the craziness <clears throat> yeah. um, I'll consider it but boy that shop was so beautiful and the girl they was so knowledgeable the yeah food. that was a fun video to watch she had a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah Nina was her name the employee she was so sweet oh. the owner didn't want to get on camera at all oh really well, that was nice yeah. to let you film in there, though. 
Yeah, she was kind of funny about being on camera. She's like, well, I'm I'm not going to be on camera. I'm like, okay, that's okay. You don't have to be on camera. Yeah, some people are <laughs> a little apprehensive about it. Her, um, her big stones, she had one stone that was like $3,000. I believe it. Some of those specimens, the bigger they get. Unbelievable. Okay, here's the next lot. This one has flashing. So it's probably moonstone, rainbow moonstone. What is it? Rainbow moonstone. If it's got the blue flashes in there. Yeah. I wish I could show the flashing better like you do, but. <laughs> On it, like having the camera down is probably the easiest way to show Look that stuff. the stuff that's going on in these beads though. It looks like there's stuff inside of them. Yeah, there's like inclusions in there. Mm -hmm. It's you see, it varies based on the locality of the stone. The most common one you find in moonstone is actually tourmaline. There's like mm -hmm. a black black tourmaline included inside of the moonstone. You see how like uneven some of them are like not even completely round. They're just like rough. They may be because they were trying to shape it the best way to get that flash to show up um as a guess okay so this now, one, striker those look glass to me yeah this one's definitely glass so we'll just yeah. show you like this Ooh, it's got is it frosted Ooh, Ooh, I do yeah frosted it's frosted Ooh, it matches me beautiful oh there you go well, i can't get it <laughs> can't get it past my ponytail okay and what about this massive it's got is that. it red or black? It's kind of hard to tell what color that is. Red. Now it's looking blue on my screen. It's red, and I have no idea what I have here, which is why I brought you on. Like, I don't know what this is. I'll die if it's garnet. I mean, it might be. There's <laughs> do you how does it look up clips? Because sometimes garnet comes in different grades. The more translucent it is, the more expensive, but sometimes the garnet is like more opaque, has little tiny flecks in it. You said it's red? Yeah. Well, let's see if I can get a red red tone for it on it. You see the red? Oh, yeah. They might be garnet. They might be. It also might be a, a glass of some sort. It's kind of hard to tell without having them in hand. But Well, tell me what to look for. Uh, well, it's uh, bubbles or anything that would suggest that it's glass internally. Okay. Is something look, to look for? Hold it up to the light and look. Yeah, I was going to say shining, backlighting it would probably be. Okay. I don't see any bubbles. Do you see any anything in there at all? Like any inclusions, like little lines or anything like I that? I see a, oh no, that's on the outside. I was going to say, I see a black line inside of it, but that's on the <laughs> Um, I honestly, honestly don't see anything. I see nothing. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to say if they might be a glass or it could, could be a, a deep garnet. Frank said. I don't really see anything. It. I wish I could. I, I wish I could. Um, it's really, oh. really dark. How would you rate stones as far as value and rarity? I, I mean, I don't know which stones particularly particularly you're speaking of, but um, um, I don't know how to answer that question. MB, can you check for my email? Let's see. My phone fell. Like these particular stones? Or you mean in, in general? Stones are, I mean, the rarity is going to be like if it's, from one location versus can be found anywhere. And then clarity pay, plays a huge role in value, depending on which stone you're talking about, of course. Like diamonds are super common, they're not very rare, but to find larger ones that are more clear and colorless, that's where it gets. You can try acetone on it, mama, um, Moonstone Mama, but acetone wouldn't do anything if these were glass, right? No. Unless they're coated, but they don't look coated. They look like the, they're that color internally. 
clarity and of course yeah what what devin said yes mb i got your i got your um registration thank you so much okay so i don't know what should we do with these i mean let's just uh if you guys buy it and it's a jackpot it's a jackpot if you guys buy it and it's not a jackpot sorry i don't have time to bring them and have them tested i can just show you uh that they're on this cord what yeah what cord is that a what kind of string is that too because sometimes it's kind, of, it's kind of like a yarn okay. it's a yeah, yarn <laughs> oh the acetone thing was in regards to testing turquoise What's that? They're they were talking about testing turquoise. That's what Devin was saying. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, all I can tell you is that they are pretty translucent. Holding them up to my ring light is up above me, and they're pretty translucent. And I do not see any bubbles. The surface of them is kind of like a little scratchy looking it's not like high polished mm -hmm. got little kind of scratches in it on the surface of them does that mean anything not necessarily i mean they could have bumped against each other and got little surface abrasions so on the surface doesn't necessarily indicate anything i don't know that's a that's a tough one that's a tough one without having it in hand It's going so in the we pile. welcome opinions in the chat if you guys. <laughs> it's going yeah. in the pile. Anita, indulging desires. You changed your name. Rub it on white paper, Donna. Okay. Ooh. And what is that going to do? What should I be looking for? Sorry, say that again. Oh, Lori says garnet beads are very, very common. They do not go for a ton. Just FYI, I've had several pieces. That's what happens when I rub it, Anita. Oh, interesting. But that, that, they didn't look dyed, but that's, unless, let me see where, well, that wouldn't really help though. That's what comes out when I rub them. That looks it's like a dyed. stone scratch, but on paper though, instead of porcelain, that's a little strange, but let me see. Hold on, let me see what. That's awesome. It's dyed. That's awesome. So what does that mean? It could be like some sort of just dyed stone. It could be if it's translucent, it may be glass with like a, a color flashing on it to give it a color. Anita, you're awesome. Thank you for that. See, you guys, we all Thank learned you. something just now. I wonder if I should rub everything on, on paper. Okay, so those are dyed stones. So now I'm going to be rubbing everything. <laughs> all right this is just glass there you go yeah yeah that's just glass and this let's see if this is glass or if it's dyed or okay it doesn't rub on anything and it's again from this kind of straw person <laughs> straw person and it um, might be a glass i mean some, glass? some yeah okay that so that's probably. glass you test pearls with acetone i've never heard of that i test i test pearls by rubbing them between my teeth <sighs> if you rub, if you have two real pearls and rub them together it has that same kind of feeling so instead of doing it on your teeth you know they have a kind of the grittiness is this something a in the quartz family? Could be a jasper, probably a jasper. If so I had to guess, quartz or jasper. Same quartz, yeah. Let's say something in the quartz family. Do you use a gem tester? MB, I don't know um, who you're referring that to. That looks like a glass. I have a gem tester, but I've never turned it on. Really. <laughs> It looks like a glass with a metallic finish on it. Okay. I, I personally don't. I do. I have a uh, gem refractor 
in the mail somewhere. That's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited about that. All right. Well, these are tied together. I'm not going to untie them. So one of them is definitely glass. The green one is definitely glass. And then mm -hmm. there's this blue one. It could also be glass. I've never seen. Is it like a teal blue or like a blue blue? Like a baby blue? It's like a robin egg blue. It could also be a glass. It could be a dyed stone. It might be something in the Kelsey family, although it looks a little too, the color looks a little saturated. That looks like Jasper again. Jasper type. again. Glass again. Um, maybe. It looks like it could be glass. There's also some gemstones, like, well, yeah, no, that's probably glass. It's got that string on it, right? Like a lot of the glass beads have been coming from. Yep. Looks very porous. That breakage there, or the like the little flea bites on the side looks like glass. The way glass has a, a we'll set of quartz and some other stones, but glass has a, um, they call it conchoidal, I think is how you pronounce it. It's the type of breakage where it kind of, it's like a semicircle kind of thing. That's what those dips kind of look like to me. I would guess that's glass. It also see, reminds me of sea glass a little bit. Look at, see all of like the divots that it has and all like the natural little. It may be, yeah. It might be a sea glass, like a tumbled sea glass. And with that, that blue, that's what I would guess that is, is, is sea glass, tumbled sea glass. Really? In this shape? Sure, why not? <laughs> I mean, they probably cut it to a, like, to that shape or something close to it and then tumbled them. It's really pretty. It's all different. It is. I like sea glass. Sea glass is really pretty. Okay, sea so glass. Sea gla okay, yeah, there's some people in the chat saying sea glass. Sea glass, yeah. So here's another one of those things. It says EST on it. And then it says $8. This one, it, this one says $8 on it. Whoever had it. And it Is says. Is that the same one we saw earlier? No, it's, a, it's another one. There was two of them in there. Oh, okay. Is this another one of those? Yeah, the lamp working ones. Yep. That's another one. Look at the work that they did on it. Yeah, that's probably the same person who made those beads, you know, strung them up too like that. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> that looks like another, is that a ceramic one? A painted ceramic? I wonder if that's the same artist that did that one from the last lot. Yeah. It almost looks like, it almost reminds me a little bit of polymer clay, but you, these are stone or they feel like a ceramic or a stone. Yeah, probably ceramic. Stone. Yeah, stone or ceramic. Yeah. Okay, ceramic. And Dar says African trade beads. Oh. Hmm. Okay, here's, this is probably glass again. And this one is probably glass again. It's really pretty though. Or it could be shell. No, that yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know, that looks kind of shell-like to me. <laughs> no, I think it's glass. I think it's glass. I don't think it's shell. This one's all pretty. right. Lori's in for 20. It was that sea glass, wasn't it, Lori? <laughs> that looks like another type of jas jasper, fancy jasper of some sort. Jasper? I would guess. And here's another. That looks like a red jasper to me. I think we might have had similar in the last lot or something like that. Yep. yep. And then I'm just going to do the rest of this all in one lot. Let me see what I dropped here. 
I dropped one of them. Oh, black one. I dropped a black one. So there's that one. So there's one. There's two. There's three and four little, little ones and five. and six, and seven, and eight, nine, ten. Is this the, the rest of them? Are you yep. doing them all in this one? Oh, wow. Eleven, yep, I'm gonna do them all in one lot. Yep. Eleven, that one says 12. 13, I'll show you those at the end. Oh, and this is gonna go in it too. That's gorgeous. That, that looks like the adventuring beads we saw earlier. But I'm wondering with the carving on there if it's of something in the Jade family. What did I say, 14? I think so. I lost count. 14, <laughs> 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, oh, grab my water. 20, 21, 22, 23. I was going to do small lots. Want me to stop? 23. 24. We've got high bid at $30 for Anita. 25. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29 and 30. I'll pick it up. That's got to be getting heavy on your hand. <laughs> 31 and 32. It's wicked heavy. 33 pieces, you guys. 33 pieces. That's a huge lot. All right. Patty's in for 32. Okay. 33 pieces. And you get this. Ooh. Those are fancy. And Ooh, Anita is power bid and she's at 40. This Patty's at 42. Who's that like turquoise on there and coral or something? I don't, know. I don't know what half this stuff is. And this. Oh. Those look like glass. <laughs> those hand, look like more lamp work beads. Hand blown little glass beads. That's gorgeous. Okay, that's the finale. Man, you just sweeten that hot really good. Can you get that closer? I want to see the carving is on there. Yep. <laughs> so, I'm going to put this in here. Give you one that's final an incredible look. amount of beads. Look at all these wonderful beads. One final look. And in the bag they go. And I'll give you. All right, Anita's got high bid at 50. $5 increments now, y'all. I don't know what the carving is. It looks Asian inspired anyway. Yep. Kind of. All right, Anita's got high bit at 60. Thank you, Anita. And this is the ding, 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 ding lot. You just sweeten the pot big time. By I, know, I, was gonna, I was gonna do it in smaller lots, but you know what? It's, it's already like an hour and 34 minutes in and I got to get to the storage unit, even though I love having you on. And I wanted to give you a minute to show some more stuff. Oh, it's fine. And um, yeah, so check it out, man. All these beautiful stones. That's gorgeous. 
And we have Anita at 60. Have we done and done, everybody? Mama G says hi. She wants hi, to Mama G. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Anyone else? Anita's going to be the winner. Anita Fanita. Anita, I have two sweaters, I think, here that you bought at my $5 sale. Um, go, dog, go. Hey, Donna, just sent you an email and Yahoo and LinkedIn. Check it later when you get a chance. All right, I will. Thank you. Thank you, Laurie. Yeah, it's an amazing buy. $60. For all the stones to Anita. Nice score. That's Thank That's you. Score. <laughs> um, Anita, let me know if you still want, I know it's been a while, if you still want those sweaters. I think one was an American flag sweater, and I can't remember what the other one is. They're packed up and on the shelf in the garage, but it was like two $5 items. Oh, that's why I never shipped it out. Um, do you have something that you want to show? I mean, I have stuff, but if you need to go, it's fine. No, or go ahead. One last thing or something like that. No, I don't go know. ahead. Go ahead. We have, we have a few minutes. Go ahead. I'll just show, show this because this has been on my table and I just think it's so darn cool, but it, apparently no one agrees with me. So we'll see if anybody here. <laughs> Thank it's you. Huge. Anita. Thank you, Anita. Oh my God. That's beautiful. Funny? I've got a smaller one that I'm, that's a little darker and green, but this, what, what, what is that? I love this piece. It is uh, a quartz with um, Chalcedony Druzy growing on top of it. So when you like, especially you can see on the sides here, the actual cro crystal quartz growing. If I can show you that. How much is that? The, I had it for like 115 or 120, but I'll, I'm trying to move some inventory. So I will do this one at $80 if anybody wants it. Oh my 80 gosh. bucks. So what's that? So beautiful. Oh it's my so cool because you can so, like right here, for example, where my finger's pointing, there is a uh crystal, like you can see, these are all crystal quartz tips, and then they have the druzy growing on top of it. Anita's gonna take it for 80. Oh, you got it, Anita. This is such a gorgeous. Oh gorgeous my gosh, thing. it's so beautiful. All right, thanks, Anita. And then if anybody is interested in a smaller one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I would do this one at 65 and I'm so reluctant to sell it. So this is same thing going on here. It has the Druzy um, Chalcedony, green Chalcedony growing on top of the crystal quartz. Can I see the back of it? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. The back, if you're not into rocks, the back probably isn't that thrilling, but <laughs> this is where it's like cut off the host rock. It's beautiful. But I just think it's the whole thing is amazing. The sparkle, everything about it. The sparkle is awesome. Wow. <laughs> $60, you guys. 65. 65? 60. Yeah, 65. I think that's 65. Right. But this one, if no one wants it, this may end up in my personal collection because I just think it's oh. gorgeous. Go and you don't. Did you see what Go Dog wrote? Look at this. Look at it. That is like the nicest thing. <laughs> oh, that's so Let me sweet. Tell you something. I needed to hear that today. Like, I can't even tell you. Aww. Like, honestly, oh, Anita. God, that is so sweet. You are so sweet. Thank you so much for that. Aww, you got Anita. it, Anita. Anita is going to take that one too for 65. Oh, that makes me oh, so happy. These Anita. are like. Anita, you go, girl. Hi, Nikki D. Wow. Those are beautiful. I, like, oh, this one's, that's a hard one for me to let go of, but I bought it to sell, so it must go. Aww. Hi, CCC. I, I said, I said, hello, honey, when you came in. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. All right. I'm dropping my link one more time. If you guys uh, love crystals like I do, please come join me on a live sale when I have a lot of inventory in the else. pipeline. <laughs> Show come something on. else. Go ahead. Oh Make my gosh. Okay. Um, let me set these down. I got to write that down. I'll forget. Anita. It's awesome. 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 Nice we'll buy, Anita. Those are beautiful. I don't know if anybody is interested in this. This is just a little um, 
crescent moon. This one's 35. If anybody wants this one, it has that pocket of Druzy in there. It's like a little agate or chalcedony, depending on who you ask. So pretty. And it's, yeah, this pocket of Druzy. The only thing is there's some carved lines in when the light catches it right that you can kind of see. If I can around that actual uh thank you lori thank you so much for the happy new year's thank you sweetheart that one's 35 and then this one i'll do 60 on this one if anybody's interested in a little Ooh. mini amethyst cathedral pretty 60. so yep. sparkly your camera is amazing oh this camera's awful <laughs> i'm glad it it's is. working today but it doesn't like to focus the colors on when well, I show teal things. Let me tell you, me. it's focusing really, really great. Amita's saying, OMG, how much is this one? Hi, Ord. Did I say 60? I'll do 60 on this one. This is not including shipping though. This stuff is so heavy. I have to do them in flat rate boxes usually. Just so you all know. Well, you might be able to get the two hearts in um, like a medium flat. Oh one. yeah, definitely. I could fit those together. 60 on this, you guys. Anybody interested? It's so beautiful. It's sizable, right, too. Usually I have my little scale next to me that I can... Oh, I see a little teeny tiny rainbow in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to show it, but... <laughs> anyway. Wow, it's amazing. Purple geode, $60 plus shipping. All right. Well, I guess yeah. we're going to pass on that one. That's fine. <laughs> we can... We can stop there. I have a bunch of small stuff, but I can save some. You can, if you want to take five minutes and show some small stuff, go ahead, honey. I don't mind. You, okay, get, right, hold on. you get 70 Wait. people in the chat, Laura. Take advantage. Okay. Take advantage, honey. All right. Let me see what I can throw up here super duper quick. Anita says, she says, someone get it, please. I'm sitting on my hands. <laughs> No one will blame you if you get more. And honestly, I think I could, not to like tempt you or anything, but I could probably fit that in the same box with the hearts too for one, you know, ship rate. So well, I was gonna I was gonna say that, but I don't want to spend Anita's money money. So I was gonna I, I'm just throwing a suggestion out. I you know, whatever. It's okay, right? You, she doesn't have to. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Um, what camera? This is a Logitech H. No, no, no. What is the number on this one? I don't remember. It's a Logitech. It's just when it gets like, for example, this. It doesn't. Let me see if it changes. Sometimes the color changes when you get things up close. Exactly. Go dog. Go. Everybody eat black eyed peas. And it's in Italian oh, yeah. people eat lentils. You have to eat lentils. So I would I've, prefer that to the peas. I've got to make sure. lentils tonight because we all need to eat lentils. No. So this is actually a little celestite chunk. This guy I would do at, I'll do it $15. Chez. Chez. And here's here the back me. of it. I want to do these stones. This is a little Jessie. teeny window in there. I, I, <laughs> Can, do you guys mind if she holds up the stone that Anita just bought for one second? I want Chesie to see it. Come see it. Come see oh, it. no problem. This is the girl. This is the girl that, you know, you don't have to show yourself on camera. This is the girl. She just got back from the pool. This is the girl that I bought your stones from. Look at, look at this one. Wow. There's two of them. Show her both of them. This is the smaller one. This is That's the, the smaller one. one. And look at that is so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And now show her, show her the amethyst real quick. I need the names for mine. You need the names, the names for yours. Yeah. Look at this one, Chesie. Oh, that is so pretty. You have something like that, right? You already do. Don't you kind have something of, similar to that? Uh, yeah, I have a geode piece. Kind of you have a geode piece with that kind of. Yeah, she has something very similar to that. Oh, yeah, those ones are that so pretty. pretty. Let's go to the side. All right, thanks for doing that for my daughter. Yeah, no problem. I, I'm so happy that she enjoys crystals too. She loves that. Um, this one is it's celestite. This is uh, 15. This color is not as good as this stuff comes. This material is actually really expensive, but it's typically oh, okay. a darker blue. Um, I actually have some over, over there. Not that you can see where I'm pointing. 
that's a little darker. This one's just been on my table for a minute, but it's fifteen dollars, which is pretty good price for that oh, stuff. Sold, sold. Somebody bought it. Christina. Ooh, bought it. Hey, Christina, welcome in, honey. Christina, Christina hey. Oh, for the celestite. Yes. Okay, you got it. Okay. I'm going to have to rewatch this so I can remember what everybody got. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't expecting to sell you guys. So thank you so much for supporting Laura. This is great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, it's do you have anything check. pink? Anita wants to know, do you have anything pink? Ooh, maybe. Ooh. Anita, I bought a pink um, like a sphere from her for Chessy. Oh, my God. It was so beautiful. Pink. I have a giant rose quartz tower. Mm -hmm. I didn't price this one out though, but I sold something similar to it, I think for 75 recently. So I'll ask for 75 on this one, but this is rose quartz, a big old polished piece in really nice condition. The problem with these um, towers is often they have little flea bites on the edges or the tip is broken off. This one is pretty darn good. And it gets the, the adventure essence to use our word from earlier. Oh, I can see the flashing in it. Yep. It's gorgeous. But it is a bit more pink in person. It's kind of hard. Like I said, my camera doesn't like to show colors very much. Pinks and they say if you put blue behind it, but I don't have any. Perlini says, oh my here. goodness. But in any case, that's uh, that's something pink. <laughs> you guys, please go over and subscribe to Gary. Also, he's so close to a thousand subscribers, mm -hmm. and he's having an auction um, Saturday night at nine o'clock. So, Gary, drop your link, honey, so people can go over and hit the notification button so they can um, come over to your auction. To, uh, it's nine o'clock Eastern, so six o'clock um, West Coast time. Oh, nice. And then these guys, I'll do four bucks for choice of any of these guys. These are little, they're called seer stones, also known as window. Oh, yeah. I bought one of those for Chazzy, a purple one. Oh, yeah. You got the amethyst. So this one's yeah. the crystal quartz. This is what she got was an uh, amethyst one. Yeah, that's what she, she loved it. She opened it on camera. I don't know if you saw her. I don't know if no, you saw it. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas Day, I, I did a, just like a 30-minute recording of the kids opening up um, their presents. And, and one of the presents that she opened was your stones. Oh, I'll have to go watch that. I've yeah, been slacking she, loved that. she loved all of them. And then this is personally my favorite. I'll do each for four, or if anybody wants to buy all four of them for 15 this one is my favorite and I'm tempted to keep it. It's smoky quartz, but up in this corner here, there's like a full rainbow flash if I can get it to show. It's still a little blurry. Let's see if my camera will behave a little bit. Almost. Uh, see, I don't like this camera. I don't think it focuses very well. The autofocus is really terrible. Uh, do you see that rainbow up there? <laughs> Um, my Koi Nest with Rebecca says, just read my email, Lara, with a heart. Oh, okay. And here, so that's, those are the, the seer stones. So there's one, if you buy all four, there's, this is the last I have. I had a ton, but they all sold. And this is all I have left or one of each. So there's one uh, crystal quartz, amethyst, rose quartz, and smoky quartz is the last one. Um, no, it's not. I can throw it in the chat, though. Yeah, it's not. I, I, I meant to put it in, but um, I didn't. But thank you, Anita. Yeah, she's just gonna throw it in the chat. Hopefully, I spelled it right. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Spell wrong. Okay, so there's those four. Um, I do have. This is my last pendant left. I think. If anybody's interested in this guy, this thing is really, really pretty. To me, I don't know. I guess everybody's opinion is different, but this is a uh, rutile or rutile, depending on who you ask, inside of quartz. It's like these golden needles. It's also known as rutilated quartz is a way to say it. Um, and this is a pendant. It's got a drilled piece up there. This one is 15 if anybody's interested in this. This okay. one, I think my cozy nest is laughing. She says, no, 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 no. I read your email and now I'm here. Laugh out loud. So you must have oh. sent that email you were going to be here. <laughs> cozy. Thank you for coming in, cozy nest. <laughs> hey, this one is 15. 
Broccoli Rob, what are you doing in my chat? <laughs> Bro Broccoli Rob. This one is a bit, bit more of a smoky quartz than a clear <laughs> quartz, just so you guys know. Anywho, I think I'll do one more if that works for you, and then we'll we'll call it quits. Okay, thank you for um, thank you for for everyone that's here. There's there's some names that I don't recognize. I appreciate you guys coming in, Laura. Thanks for sending out an email to your peeps. No problem. I threw something yeah. out on Instagram too, but I don't know if anybody got. So this will give you an idea of what my camera does with colors, because this is this is a uh, blue appetite is the um, stone color or the stone the stone but it's more of a teal and sometimes when i get Ooh, close see, that is so color. oh my gosh that is so pretty also very yeah. very pretty i had two of these see and then it goes back to like a duller blue but this is more of a teal blue really there gorgeous stone and this i'll do i'm trying to move it so i'll say 25 which is a really good deal on this stone just so y'all know Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, you guys. $25 right now. That is so gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. There we go. So that's a bit more accurate to the color. It is more of a, a teal. So beautiful. Sold, sold, sold. Patty Paws is going to buy it for $25. All right. Thanks, Patty. All right. I think that that probably is good enough for now. <laughs> okay. Awesome. But I'll be, um, I'll have a, probably a show on Saturday. See, now it's blurry. Um, a show on my channel on Saturday to do maybe a couple pieces of jewelry, but um, to try to clear out the inventory of stones on my table, what I have left while I wait for new stuff to arrive. So subscribe and come hang out in the chat. Buy some cheap stones. It'll be fun. <laughs> You're all blurry. Do this to your camera so that you can come in nice and clear. Nope. Nope. It sucks. I hate this camera. It's not. <laughs> when it works, it works. When it doesn't, it's really annoying to deal with. You know, before I leave, I, you know what? I just, I heard my husband go out the door and I need him to do um, the mini storage. Did you, you guys saw the mugs that I had? Um, the video. I don't know if you saw the video of the mugs. I actually loved, I loved making that video, but let me know if there's any interest in these mugs. I, you know, I have to find boxes that I can put these mugs in because, um, you know, of how they are. So I'm kind of reluctant in, in selling them without um, having the boxes. But I'm going to, yeah, the Budweiser mugs. I'm going to uh, test market and see if there is, is, you know, I've got 73 of you here, which is, you know, which is pretty good for um, New Year's. So um, the mugs are great. Thank you. So I'm going to, like, I'll show you this one and you guys let me know. I'm going to test market because um, someone did look some of them up and some of them are selling, some of them are selling for not very much money, but some of them are selling for a lot of money. So, you know, it's another one of those things like, do I post them on eBay or do I bring them here to sell? You know, same with all that jewelry that I just sold. But like, yeah. for example, I'm just going to put myself on full screen. Um, this one here, like if I were to start, so this is going to cost me probably $7 to ship. So if I were to start this at 10, is anybody interested in placing a bid on this for $10? Let me know. If I were to start the bidding at 10, this one does not have any, any um, chips whatsoever. It's in perfect condition. And this is what it looks like. That's cool. I like that. Really beautiful. I mean, you don't have to use these for beer. They could also be great for um, coffee cups, and they're the type of type of ceramic that you could put in the dishwasher. Um, I don't know. This is probably burnt into the into the glaze. Sandy's at ten. Sandy likes it for ten. Are they from Bush Gardens? I don't know. I have no idea. Anheuser Busch Incorporated. I have no idea. They were a um, storage unit find. 
So I don't know any history. I have 24, I think, of them. 24 of them. So Sandy, you want this for 10? Gary wants it for 12. Let's have a chat delay. Laura, do you have to run, honey? If you have to run, you can say goodbye unless you want to hang out. It's up to you. I'm in my name for a second. Okay. Actually, that'll give me a chance to write some of the stuff down. <laughs> yeah. Yep, collectible. What do you think, Sandy? You out, honey? From Germany. How many of those in total did you get? 24. Wow. And you know what else I have? Uh, that came out of the same unit. Do you guys see that there? Is that I, are those Coke cans? They're all Coke cans, and they are. Um, huh. Sandy's out. Gary wants it for twelve. I'm going to tell you what these are. But I wouldn't be. If, it would be really expensive to ship. Somebody actually custom made a. That's wood. It's a wood. Oh wow! It's a wood container, and it's 1984 World Series. And it's the Detroit Tigers. And they're all, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's all of the team. Number 15, Rusty. I'm assuming it's the whole team. And they're all Coca-Cola. And they're not popped. But oh, they're wow. Oh. They, they put holes in the bottom. Okay. So let's see. Gary's going to take this mug. Oh, thank you, Anita. Thanks. Gary for twelve dollars. All right, Gary, you got it, honey. Um, let me put this right in here. Um, they were miserable in the heat, so they aren't there now. I don't know what she's talking about. Rusty, how do you say the last name? Hey, junk trader. Welcome in. All right, I'm going to grab another one. Let's see if there's any interest in this one. This one is Holiday in the Mountains 2000 Holiday Stein. Ooh. Yeah, this one's beautiful too. With a $10 start on this one also, you guys. Oh, I like that little filigree design on the handle. Yeah, they're, um, it's actually like... Uh, pine and oh. um, pine cones and wintergreen. Is Can't anything? you just like envision yourself drinking a warm beverage by the fire in a cabin? Oh yeah. Thing? Like this is, it's such a nice mug to like hold on to even for like, I don't know about you, but even though there's a mug on my cup of coffee, I usually grab it like from this side. Like I yeah, I, I like feed my fingers through the handle. I don't ever use handles. I'm just holding yeah, it. Yeah, I do too. I either hold it like that or <laughs> um yeah. Westside Gary, you're not gonna put the Stein mug in the dishwasher, are you? <laughs> I don't know. I they look like they're dishwasher safe to me. You know how like you can tell like this has been run through the dishwasher a million times. Like this one here seems like the same kind of of glaze. Does it say on the usually on the bottom it'll tell you if it's dishwasher safe? It's supposed to be the cold the beer. I don't know. I would put coffee in it. I don't <laughs> know how many ounces it is. It's this, it's this many ounces. It's this big. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea how many ounces it is. Oh, that looks like a, these two look like they're identical. This one and oh yeah, they are identical. I've got two identical ones. One of the ones that Gary just bought. I have an identical one. Okay. So we are going to say thank you. Great for hot cocoa, right, Anita? I think so. Anita, it's good to see you back, honey. I I'm gonna send you an email. Um I'd love to chat with you. There's Kelly, hip flipping mama. Hello and happy new year to you. Hi. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in. Um, Laura, thank you for coming on. Thank you for helping me identify some of these beads. And also no thank you to everyone in the chat that helped with identifying them. That was yeah. awesome. Um, Donna, I'll take the second one that, that looks like Gary's. Okay. 
All right, Sandy, I got you got it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh no, Shelly. I hate when that happens. That happens to me all the time. I don't get the notifications. Oh yeah, it happens. Okay, that one and this one's gonna go to Sandy's house. Oh, thank you, Gary. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bola Buddies, for being here. And um, Jonathan. Okay, so don't forget, you guys, go support each other. And please go and subscribe to my friend Laura's channel. Um, hey, Hot Mess Thrifter. Welcome in. And uh, support her. Help Gary get to 1,000 subs. He's almost there. And I will, um, my husband and I, I think are going to go drive to West Palm Beach tonight to go see the fireworks. So if we do do that, I will go live so you guys can see the fireworks. I know that Robin is also going live. And I don't know who else is. Is I think there's a lot of people that are going to be live tonight. So you guys will have lots of company on, on the tube. You can bounce around. Oh, yes. And Bolo Buddies also. Sorry, Courtney. And I knew that you are. She is so close to 7,000 subs. Wow. So, so close. Um, Thelma says, I didn't get notified. Oh, well, thank you. You guys, don't forget. Um, please give the video a... Oh, uh, yeah. Are Budweiser and Bush owned by the same company? I have no idea, Jill. Um, please give the video a thumbs up on the way out the door. And if you can think of it, if you can come back and put a comment in the chat, Boston's put, pushing me with his nose. He wants me to um, <laughs> pat him. <laughs> um, put a comment in the video chat. It always helps with the algorithm. And I just want to say thank you, everyone. We'll see you later on uh, around the tube or um, at my live. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone.